good. He started back to shoot at him. He started back to shoot at him. Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to be talking about man versus car. Not only are we going to be talking about man versus car. He's pushing his way through. He's trying to fight that car. Actually, that is all we're going to be talking about today. We haven't seen a police officer use a vehicle as a weapon in a minute. That's why at the end of this breakdown on our new police officer hitting someone with a car, we're going to have a compilation of some older ones. Compilation where police officers in the past have used their cars to smush the criminal element. That was hard to get out for some reason, and I haven't been drinking. You know what I like watching? That's right, police videos. And the best way to listen to those police videos when I'm watching them on my cell phone are Raycon earbuds. Our sponsor for today is Raycon earbuds. They've been my longest running sponsor and these things are pretty badass. When I'm trying not to be a fat <coughs> and actually do work out, or if I'm just in the Texas seat because you're gonna sweat your <coughs> off, I love having Raycon earbuds. Why? Because it's a snug fit. They're also water resistant, so all this bullshit <coughs> weather isn't gonna ruin your earbuds. Look, money's kind of tight right now, we all know. You can get a pair of Raycon earbuds and a spare pair and pay less for what you would pay for some of those bigger name brand tech company earbuds. With over 50,000 five-star reviews, you can't really go wrong when you're looking for an affordable pair of earbuds that are going to last for a long time. Listen here, if you're in a crowded restaurant eating brunch and having manmosas like I like to do while I watch raw police footage, and there's all these people yammering about things that aren't police shooting people. They have noise isolation. Ma'am, could you quiet down your baby? I'm trying to watch murder. You don't got to do that anymore. Noise isolation. Listen here, you can get 15% off your Raycon earbuds by going to buyraycon.com slash operator. And if you don't like them, they got a money back guarantee. Check them out today and support the channel. Let's talk about some legal vehicular homicide. That's kind of a great name for an indie band, huh? Legal vehicular homicide with their new hit. He was a good boy and just going to college. Anyways, if you don't like my stupid voice or hearing me talk on my own <coughs> damn channel, you can go on over to Donuts Raw Police footage. But I suggest you stay here, right here. Because of the implication. February 21st, St. Louis. St. Louis County police detectives were heading to their three-hour lunch break to eat 6,000 calories of cheap Chinese food at half price for police when suddenly they synced a 42-year-old man driving like a complete <laughs> asshole. I synced it. The traffic violations were so severe, a detective even decided to put off his own lunch break and do actual policing. I'm sorry, investigators. You know, I just got to give you <laughs> like everyone else. No one is safe here. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. Good morning. morning Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. Alright, I'll stop now. But the Japanese even made an entire fanzine magazine about detectives in the early 90s. Okay, I'll stop now. But if anyone can find me an actual copy or an, an original copy of that magazine I just showed you, I'll give you a thousand dollars and put it in the next video. Back to our headline, illegal vehicular homicide. So they sees this guy driving like a complete turd. Traffic stop is initiated, but dude pulls away. The chase is on, but he didn't get very far because he hit a light pole and his tire fell off. He wasn't about to get caught. No, not this man. So he jumps out of his car and he gets on foot and takes off into a church parking lot, which apparently has like 15 cameras outside of it, which is good for us because we get a lot of angles. Oh, but it looks like there's something in his hand. And of course, it's a Glock with an extended magazine. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that it probably has the full auto switch on the back too. And he definitely probably took a picture of it and put it on Facebook, holding it up where you can see the serial number. God, I love local amateur rap videos when I was a cop. I see so many serial numbers. Thank God for 4K iPhones. Scenario, there's a guy standing in front of you shooting at you and you're in a 5,000 pound bullet. What do you do? That's right, work smarter, not harder. He's trying to fight that car, but the car seems to have the upper hand. <laughs> The suspect violently attacks the front of one police car and then tries to steal the catalytic converter of the other one. First officer did a little boop and the second officer kind of finished it. But wait, there's more. Not more video, just more bad news. He lived. I'm joking, YouTube, please don't kick me off the platform. Yeah, I guess that's not technically legal vehicular homicide. It's like legal vehicular assault. But we're gonna watch some legal vehicular homicide. But this guy had no life-threatening injuries and he was charged with like 12 felonies. What sucks about this one though is that there's no body cam or dash cam. I kind of want to hear what the cops were saying inside the car. Like, oh, shoot at me, mother <laughs> Now who's ready for more man versus car? Oh no, he just got 
ran over and... Tulsa, Oklahoma. A woman committed several shootings and just like our video we broke down today, she shoots at police and tries to steal their catalytic converter too. she didn't make it through that one. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Police called up with a murder suspect and he started shooting at them too, but while on the interstate. He had some non-life-threatening injuries. I can't show the mugshot right now because there's a lot of blood, but he was end up being charged with murdering his girlfriend. Arizona. A mental suspect of the gun was firing it all over the place when he got Leroy Jenkins by an officer whose shift was probably about to end. Athens, Clark, Georgia. An officer recognized a dude with some felony warrants. There was a foot chase and the guy got a little tap a tap -a. The dude only had some scrapes and bruises and the officer was fired for that one. He broke the old departmental policy. I wish I could have policed back when my grandfather policed, you know, back in like the 60s and 70s. Those guys got to make up the policies. Those policies are there because my grandpa did stupid shit. Ah! San Francisco. Some skaters were bombing a hill when one of them violently attacked the police car. Oh. Speaking of, the new 50 Skate Shop will be open in Bernie, Texas here in a couple weeks. Check out my vlog channel. I just put my first vlog up of me starting to build it. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Some carjackers were hanging out the window of their stolen car shooting at police. They bailed out of the car, started running, and, well. <laughs> Dude did a sick backflip and only suffered some bumps and bruises. Ohio, a suspected arms dealer was running from police and got booped a little. Right here. What is it with all these people trying to steal the catalytic converters of all these police cars? He was fine. Denver, Colorado about 10 years ago. I'm only smiling because it's just kind of goofy. A cop gets a twofer, but not on two bad guys. Air Tracker 7 is overhead as the bank robbery suspect takes off running. Oh. An unmarked police car hits the suspect and the cop. Basically, the officer was breaking at the same time. It looks like he got hit, but he's fine. Bumps and bruises. Next video. A 16-year-old was running from police and got oopsied by one of the officers into someone's front yard. He's a teenager, he's probably fine. Bail out, bail out. Crash, crash, crash. And that is all of the man versus car that I have for you today. If you want to help support the channel, you can go on over to donutoperator.com to get some super sweet merch, subscribe, follow, and all my other bullshit. Please come over to Twitter and hang out with me. It's so fun there now. Other than that, please have a fantastic day. Bye.